Hello, Total Dan Toadettes. It's that time of year again. It's Mario Day, March 10th, people. This year, I'm going to be taking a more chill approach, and we are going to be talking about the longevity and the future of the Mario franchise. I had other video ideas planned, like a different ranking video or other things, but I'm actually just going to be doing those as future videos, as those are, uh, those are just going to be way bigger videos, and for the amount of time I have to make this video, I need to do something just chill like this, and I think this was a pretty good video idea. So how about we just get into the meat of this video? Starting off, let's talk about Mario and Luigi. This one is obviously an interesting one to talk about. Alpha Dream has gone bankrupt since the release of Mario and Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey. Obviously, releasing a remake of a game that was already playable on the 3DS in 2019 was not a good idea. They should have at least remaked this game on Switch. That would have just been a better idea, but instead they decided to do this, and it's one of the worst selling Mario games, and yeah, Alpha Dream is gone. They're bankrupt. A few years later, though, Nintendo did regain the copyright for Mario & Luigi, giving some fans hope, and Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga is being put on the Nintendo Switch Online Game Boy Advance app, which is giving more hope to us. We don't really know if there ever will be a game. I really do hope, as these games have a special place in my heart, as they are honestly my favorite spin-off series in gaming. The amount of character and just and just passion that goes into these games are immaculate. But sadly, we might not hear from these games for a while. Next, let's go to the big boy, 3D Mainline Mario. We're obviously gonna get another one of these. It's a no-brainer. Odyssey has done so well, and we're just waiting for another one. I really thought it was going to be Last Direct, but now I honestly highly think it's going to be E3 this year. If E3 is happening, I'm not really sure. If not, just the June Direct. It's got to happen soon, unless they're waiting for the next console, maybe. But I mean, Tears of the Kingdom's coming out, so I don't see why a new 3D Mario game will come out. These games will never die out. There's no way a 3D Mario game won't sell well, depending on whatever console it's on. These games will always be with us unless some kind of video game crash happens. And I honestly can't say that I, and I can't argue with the fact that these games are amazing. Super Mario Galaxy is literally my favorite game of all time. Odyssey's up there too, along with Super Mario Galaxy 2. 3D Mainline Mario is a big chunk of what makes Mario so enjoyable for me. And I'm just glad this series is still around. Obviously, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. But yeah, that is a no-brainer that it's going to come back in the future. Similarly, let's talk about the second mainline series in the Mario franchise, 2D Mainline Mario. This one's actually quite an interesting one, as we don't really know if it will come back. We haven't seen an original game since, like, what, 2012, 2013? Yeah, it was 2012, with the Wii U's release of New Super Mario Bros. U. Obviously, it got ported in, like, 2019, 2018, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, added some new stuff, but we really don't know if they will bring this back. It obviously is a possibility that New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe sold well, so I wouldn't see why they wouldn't make another 2D Mario game. Obviously, this is pretty controversial. We do not want another new Super Mario Bros. game, if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's not new. But it's definitely a possibility, but I would not say it's guaranteed. And let's talk about everyone's favorite, I mean, every, everyone and their grandma's playing this one, Mario Kart. No, duh. I mean, come on, they're still releasing the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. So obviously, we're gonna still get more content from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And I do not think there's going to be another Mario Kart game on Switch, especially with this DLC. They probably already have Mario Kart 9 ready to be a launch title for the next console. I would not be surprised. This is also a no-brainer alongside 3D Mario that they will make another Mario Kart game. It's like their best-selling series ever. And let's just say Nintendo's swimming in money, and there's no way they would not release another Mario Kart game. Alright, I, I want to get a little controversial here. Let's get into Paper Mario. We obviously know there's going to be a paper, another Paper Mario game. I wouldn't say it's a 100% guarantee, but I'd say it's a 90% guarantee that there's going to be another Paper Mario game. Last one we got was Origami King on Switch in 2020, so that was pretty recently. I don't believe the next Paper Mario game will be on Switch, but I can tell you it'll probably be in the next console. The thing is, how will the game turn out? Origami King was a step in the right direction, reintroducing partners and connected open areas instead of a level system and somewhat making the battle system more intriguing but still not perfect there's a lot of flaws with origami king but i think there's also a lot of positives and they honestly kind of even out as a a little bit above average game but what will the, ne the next paper mario games direction be like will it be more like the goaded old games or will it try to be different with some kind of bullcrap battle system I can already predict the next Paper Mario's battle system is, is gonna be tic-tac-toe, bro. I mean, come on. It, 
It's obviously a joke, but I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they do something stupid like this. But hey, we are what I like to see another Paper Mario game, despite how they decide to take it. And I'd say you don't really have to worry about this one coming back. What about Mario Party? I mean, we saw Mario Party Superstars in 2021. I doubt there's going to be another Mario Party game on Switch. Maybe they'll do a small one as a post-next console Switch game, or maybe just wait until the next console. I'd say this is another 100% guarantee. The game sell extremely well, and it's a beloved series. Mario Party Superstars is a step in the right direction, as ND Cube has been taking Mario Party in a uh, not-so-good place. But hopefully they'll learn from the mistakes and continue what Mario Party Superstars has started and make another good Mario Party game reminiscent to the old Hudson Soft days. Rest in peace, Hudson Soft. We will miss you. Alright, let's talk about Mario vs. Donkey. <laughs> okay, I can't take it seriously. What about Mario and Sonic? <laughs> Man, I gotta get to something better than these two games. They're not coming back, and I'm so glad that they aren't. Alright, how about we talk about an actual good <laughs> series, unlike the last two I skimmed over, and we talk about Super Mario Maker. I think this is another no-brainer that they will probably make a Super Mario Maker 3. That was actually a scrapped video idea I had. It was about Super Mario Maker 3. Maybe you guys will be seeing that in the future. Maybe it's a little sneak peek right here. I think this is obviously obvious. Super Mario Maker 2 could have sold way better, but it still sold pretty decently. It's selling like 9 million, 10 million copies, something like that. And the game is so much fun. I was playing it a lot last year, came back to the game. I gotta get back into it soon. The game is so much fun. And Super Mario Maker 3, I can already say, would sell pretty well. And it's been a while, especially since they've stopped doing major updates for Super Mario Maker 2. So I think it's honestly a good time, or they can, uh, they're can they probably going to wait until the next console release, Super Mario Maker 3. But they have big shoes to fill. Hopefully a 3D game style, maybe Mario 64 Galaxy would honestly work. But yeah, Super Mario Maker would be an awesome series to see you come back. And I don't think they will not bring another game out. Alright, let's talk about Mario Sports. I'm going to be grouping all of the sports games together just for this particular video to speed this up. So first, the just generalized Mario Sports games, Mario Sports Mix, Mario Sports Superstars series. This is probably not going to come back. These two games are not critically acclaimed. And I've honestly just agreed to be dumpster fires of a game and we should just never touch these diseases anymore. These games are not coming back, and I'm glad they're not. Now let's go to the good Mario sports games, like Mario Strikers. Last year, we actually saw Mario Strikers Battle League, and even though it wasn't the best game in the series, and it doesn't give too much hope for fans that the series will continue, I think there is at least a 30% chance of this series coming back. It was always a cult classic with fans, and even though the new one, like I said, wasn't so good, I think there is still a possibility for the next console. Then there's Mario Baseball. I think this will come back. And they did Strikers last summer. I think 2023 summer we'll see a new Mario Baseball game. Even though they didn't show in the February Direct. Maybe it'll be in the E3 Direct in, in August or something. I think Baseball has at least another 30% chance as well as they brought back Strikers. Why wouldn't they bring back Baseball? Mario. Oops. I, I don't know what to say about this one. I love basketball and I love Mario. But uh, yeah, this does not work so well. A 1% chance of this series coming back. Oh, and how could I forget the two series that Nintendo seems to never let go? Mario Golf and Mario Tennis. Let's start with Mario Golf. It's basically, it's going to come back. I mean, there's no really telling that it's not going to come back. It's always seemed to be a series that Nintendo has stuck with and put on each console. And obviously, Mario Golf Super Rush wasn't everything we wanted, but... It obviously didn't do horrible, and Nintendo knows that. We want Mario Golf, so they're going to give us more. Pretty much the same thing for Mario Tennis. Tennis Aces could have been better. It wasn't horrible in my opinion, just like Super Rush. I think those games are fine. And it seems to be Nintendo just likes to make these games. So I think we are going to see these games as well. And there you have it, my Toads and Toadettes. I didn't talk about the not Mario spin-offs like Luigi games or Wario games or Yoshi games as I do count those as part of the Mario franchise, but I just wanted to stick to more Mario games. And the miscellaneous spin-offs like Mario Pinball Land, they're not really a series, they only have one game. And I only went over a series that had at least one more than one Mario game with the exclusion of 2K, I mean Mario Hoops. But I hope you enjoyed basically my mini review of the future of each Mario series, something more laid back for Mario Day. And I hope you guys are having a Mario Day. How about you help make my Mario Day better by subscribing to the channel and maybe even liking the video if you, if you enjoyed it. I do have other more Nintendo related content and Mario Day content on my channel. 
Maybe you can go back and watch my Mario Day 2022 or 2021 videos, which I'll have as end cards for this video. And on that note, guys, I will see you in the next one.